Hey everybody, this is a quick how-to. Yes, that's my boring desktop. This is a quick how-to on to make that Sega Mega Mix Retro, which is so awesome. Everybody's having trouble burning it off, so let's see. I'm going to navigate to the folder. Okay, if you can't see it, it says... Sonic 1, oh wait a minute, that's the wrong one. Sorry. I'm going to see, I'm going to try to do this in one take. I can't remember where I put it. Ugh. Okay, well anyway, it's the same one, right? Wait a minute. Is it gems? Roms? I can't find the, oh there it is. Okay. Simuse.7z. I don't have the equipment to do this to like do a capture. But there it is. That's it. I'm gonna double click it. I've already done this once. And if you have your computer set up right, it will open. This is IZ Arc. It'll open it. You select it and you hit extract. And what it'll do, I'm not gonna do that. It'll create this folder here, right? Hold on, let me see. Now, I don't have the greatest of cameras anyway. It'll create the SimU folder and not have the extension. You double click it, there's your ISO. Okay, you minimize what you got, right? Go ahead and close this, I'm not going to use it. Then you go to, that's Nero, right there. Nero Smart Start. It's it worked for me. You start it. My computer's slow. Takes a minute to boot up. Well, and start programs. Dum de dum de dum. Okay, Nero has started. You go here, copy and backup, and it says burn image to disk. You click burn image to disk. This is a free program. Okay, so get it. You can, or if you don't want to. Well, this is the one I'm using, okay? It came with my burner. It came with several of my burners. Okay, and it's going to ask you, where is the image file? Let me... I know it's not real easy to see. Sorry. The image file is already selected. You navigate to it. See? Just so I can brag, that's local disk C, Zenate HAL 5, because this is the fifth iteration, how many times I've rebuilt this machine. Sega 1, GENS folder, ROMs, CDX and S1 MMU. Okay, so it's there. You select it. You could double click it, whatever. I don't like double clicking a lot of whole times because it tends to mess things up. You click open and then you select. Okay, the image file is selected. You can't touch it, right? It won't let you, well, you hit browse. It opens it up. Don't do that. We don't need to do that. Is this confusing enough yet? Let me see if I can Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's I'm stuck on the hourglass. Hooray, Windows 2000. It is pretty much a hot ride when it wants to be. Not today. <laughs> anyway, okay, we're going to X this out. We've already got everything selected that we need selected here, which is that. Okay. That's your file. You select your burner. I have a cheapy. Okay. You select your speed. Default is 40x. Okay. These older systems don't really like. I don't like to chance it. I don't like wasting time burning high speed. Though a lot of these. Mine probably won't do it because it's a piece of crap. So I jacked it all the way down to 10x. Right. You can make a number of copies and you click next and then it'll proceed to burn after that that's all you do and then it'll say go ahead and uh, would you like to save this project no so to recap you navigate to your file you so you find just for your own benefit you know where your file is it's gonna say dot iso right 
and then you start the burner program I use Nero Express you select burn image to disk copy DVD or burn image to disk is what is on mine right I'm not using alcohol because my free trial expired do that so burn image to disk brings up your window you select your ISO you hit open you select your speed I jack it all the way down last time this went down to 4x which was actually pretty cool and even at 4x it took 30 seconds to burn because it's such a small file and then you hit next and well if you look it's asking me for a CD I'm not gonna burn another copy so you put the disk in it goes okay aborted by user yes I'm gonna just get out of this right now so there you go that's how you burn that disk okay six over six minutes oh man what a tutorial have a good one bye bye